Hey, it's Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the 2016 Daytime Emmys in downtown Los Angeles. Here, how are you, sir? Very good. How are you? I'm good. So you are a composer uh, for uh, an R.L. Stein story coming out, correct? Correct. Yeah, a movie called R.L. Stein's Monsterville Cabinet of Souls. So, I mean, when you're composing that, do you have like an acronym that you write on stuff, or do you write that oh, whole yeah. title on all your files on your computer? I, I, I did have an acronym. I used COS, which is Cabinet of Souls. Because I'm thinking to myself, when I'm trying to go through a lot of content, I think to it, I don't want to write that 150 times on file. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> when you're composing something, um, it's such a personal kind of emotional thing to compose something. How do you, how do you begin that process for yourself when you're creating like a brand new score or composing something for a film or TV? Well, since you're composing for a movie, uh, or any other kinds of media when you're doing television or, or any, you know, when you're writing music for another project, it always begins with meeting with the other filmmakers, finding out what their vision is and what they would like the music to be able to do. So you do a lot of kind of catching up in a way because music often comes at the end of the process after they've already edited and, and yeah. So, um, so it's sort of a bit of, a, bit of a, you know, getting to know the project. And then once you feel like you have a, an idea as to what they're looking for, then you go back to your studio and try and go for it and hopefully they like it. So was composing, did you always love music or was that something you kind of fell into through a series of other things? I've always loved music. I started when I was 11 and uh, this actually is my 30th year in music. Um, no big deal, just 30 years in music, you guys. And you're nominated too, correct? I am nominated, yeah. Jesus Christ, you're just killing it. You've got 30 years. You're nominated, and you've been doing this since you were like 11. Uh, yeah, well, not composing from film since 11. Well, I mean, I, well, you could have led with that. I think we should just say that you were, because that's really cool. That's true. Uh, yeah. Is there uh, anything that you do differently for TV versus film when you're composing? That's a good question. Um, I'll say this. Uh, the, the process is very similar, but, but the, the biggest difference, I would say, with, with television versus film, it, depending on the TV show, is that if you're doing a, a, sh a narrative show that is, is um, sequential, like each story leads to the next one, then that's very different than movies because in a movie, you watch the movie and you know the entire story when you start. So, so before you write a note, you already knew the beginning, middle, and end. If you do a, an episodic type television series, you don't really know where it's going when you're writing it. So that was it. a big difference. That's so interesting to Wonderful. think about. Well, Wonderful. that makes what you do even and more amazing because there's so much that goes into it. So uh, congratulations and good luck tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite daytime programming is.